In this problem, we have to multiply out these polynomials. Here, a and b are integers. So in the first example here on the left, we can use a familiar formula. Uh, it has the form a plus b times a minus b. And whenever we have this, we end up with a squared minus b squared. That's called the difference of squares formula. So here our a is x to the a, and our b is y to the b. I know uh, I use the same letters. It's a little confusing, but hopefully it makes sense. So we take x to the a, and we square it. Minus, and then we take uh, y to the b, and we square it. And now, uh, properties of exponents say uh, you can just multiply these. So 2 times a is 2a minus, and then 2 times b is 2b. And that would be it. If you're confused about the a and the b, I could use different letters. I can do like u plus v, you know, u minus v, and that would be u squared minus v squared. So your u is x to the a, and your v is y to the b. So it's u squared minus v squared, so everything works out. Okay, let's go ahead and do this other piece here. Now, unfortunately, this does not match the difference of squares formula, right? Because uh, it's, it's got to be just like this, you know, a plus b, a minus b. It doesn't work here because of the 1 and the 3. If that was like a 1 instead of a 3, we'd be good, but it's not. So we just have to distribute. So we do x to the 2a times x to the 2a. When you multiply these, you add the exponents. So 2a plus 2a is 4a. And then you do x to the 2a times negative 3. So that's minus 3x to the 2a. Again, distributing, just taking this and multiplying it by each. Then you go to the next one, so 1. 1 times x to the 2a is x to the 2a. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So we end up with x to the 4a negative 3x to the 2a plus 1x to the 2a is minus 2x to the 2a. Ridiculous. <laughs> minus 3. That 2a is nuts. And there would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.